Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John here, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. If you've ever read the book Go Dog Go by P.D. Eastman, then you will certainly be familiar with this illustration. On this page, you can see a whole bunch of dogs up on top of a tree, quite literally on top of the tree, playing games. There's a cannon up there. They're barbecuing and playing all sorts of things. It looks like fun. You've got these guys here are sinking down into the tree, which doesn't make sense that these guys can walk on top of it. And these ones are sinking into it. And then down here, you've got the trapeze artists and all sorts of things going on. It looks like a lot of fun. And actually, when I was a kid, I think I was about six years old when someone read this book to me. And it's, it, it changed my life. This very illustration, not even just the book, but the, this one illustration. Why did it change my life? Because I looked at that and I said, that's impossible. I wonder if I could do that. And so I spent the next number of years trying to figure out how to be up on top of a tree like this. And what it led me to, of course, ultimately was building tree houses. Uh, and, and I got fun, I had fun, got creative with building tree houses. I had one, I think that was three or four stories, you know, different floors. I actually rented a floor or two to some of the neighborhood kids. It was something else. But anyway, this video is not supposed to be about tree house building or uh, my fun tree house childhood or anything like that. This video is supposed to illustrate a point, and that is that we are affected by what we see and what we read and what we hear, of course. What does that mean? Well, take a look at our spiritual life. Um, when, let's say, talk about the lives of the saints, for example. I've heard people say, well, Father, I can't read the lives of the saints. You know, I feel overwhelmed I, or discouraged because they're walking on water and some of them could fly and they're healing the sick and doing all sorts of things, and I can't do any of that. But isn't the point about reading the lives of the saints that we read about the wonderful things that God has done in the lives of others, and perhaps it gives us pause to say, that seems impossible. I wonder if I could do that, right? In other words, it gives us something to aim for. And even if it's not these miracle-working saints, what if it's somebody who spends their lives caring for the poor or the sick, uh, doing things that we look at that and we, we say, Wow, I mean, you know, as far as society is concerned, they didn't have great inventions and make millions and millions and millions and billions of dollars. So in the world's eyes, maybe they weren't very successful. Maybe even the world considered them a failure. But if we look at their life and we find it inspiring, and it, 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 it sets something off inside of us that makes us say, I'd like to do that. I wonder if I could do something like that. Then... It's a really good thing. <clears throat> we all need encouragement. We all need inspiration. It's a good thing to dream big, right? To aim high. When we read the lives of the saints, we see the icons, we hear the readings of the, the, the divine words of the holy scriptures. It, it gives us fuel in our spiritual life. It gives us light. It gives us something to aim for that is higher than ourselves. And we don't do all these things, the fasting and the praying and the good works and stuff. We don't do them because we say, well, I want to be a superhero, so I'm going to do all these things. I mean, that, that seems like a tempting position, but really it's supposed to be for love, for love of God and love of neighbor, for love of the other. So brothers and sisters, whatever it is that encourages you that kind of sets your heart on fire, it, 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 it could be go dog go. Or it could be uh, the favorite, your favorite lives of the saints. You know, you're reading the life of St. John of Shanghai in San Francisco or St. John of Kronstadt or St. Juliana or one of the great saints of the church and you see the spectacular things they did in their life for the sake of the love of God and neighbor. Perhaps it will, it will change the trajectory of your own life. Perhaps you will be the one that people will be talking about in like 100 or 200 years and saying, wow, I wonder if I could do that. God help us. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.